According to the police boss in Delta State, over a hundred suspects were arrested in the past one month as a result of the robust partnership with various stakeholders and members of the public in assisting the police to fight crime. Among the suspects is this 23-year-old young man here who allegedly murdered his girlfriend, Gift Oloku, over disagreement and damage to his iPhone. A bit of woman I didn't know it was going to happen that way. It was, a, it was seriously a mistake. I don't have the intention of killing her or anything. The investigation, however, revealed that a fight ensued between both of them over a disagreement. The suspect claimed that she damaged his phone, iPhone 11 Pro Max, while they were fighting, which angered him and he used a machet on her. For these three suspects, the killing of their employer and his wife is what they were apprehended for. So our attorney now will come go inside. As we go inside, the man has sit down. So as the man has, they will come use rope. They attack the man. So they come out, they will come inside there. For neck. In their quest for money making to buy phones and data, they stormed the house of their employers. That is the victim the two victims, the man and his wife. They robbed them, and during which they killed the couple. Two of the suspects, Chuku the Sunday and Yomachi Paul, also raped the man's wife even before they killed her. On parade here also are these pregnant young women rescued from a baby factory syndicate who sell babies born by the young ladies, five suspected tricycle thieves, and this man who killed his 18-month-old son for ritual and over 70 courses. The Abuja residence of the ABC vice presidential candidate has continued to receive more guests since its emergence as the running mate to Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu in the 2023 presidential election. The most recent is the APC caucus of the House of Representatives, led by the Deputy Speaker, Ahmed Idris Wase. Consider the parliament of the House of Representatives uh, being our own product uh, from the parliament. Uh, all of us, and I don't believe there's anybody, even among the PDP, that will go out to work against you. We will work hard to ensure the success of this party because this is the first time we are having a presidential candidate from the Senate, a former yes, senator, yes. and then having a vice president from the Senate. Senator Shetima, having appreciated the federal lawmakers for their congratulatory visit, used the occasion to appreciate President Muhammadu Buhari for providing a level playing field for the most populous aspirant of the party to emerge at the primary. We have to celebrate our president. The first time in living history that a sitting president showed no any preference and provided a level playing field for the most popular candidate. He also called on political leaders to unite for the benefit of Nigerians. We have to unite as a people, irrespective of differences in political affiliations, religious persuasions, tribal or sectional backgrounds to save our nation to serve our nation. Gombe State Governor was also on hand to congratulate the APC Vice Presidential Candidate. He says Senator Shetima. The enforcement team comprising of officers of the Federal Road Safety Corps and the Nigeria Police setting out. The team's destination is Lekki, Lagos Island and Environs. Finally, they made the Lakey Toll Gate the enforcement point. They didn't have to wait for long before the team started spotting vehicles with not just spy number plates, but also those that covered their number plates. Though every vehicle owner has a period of three months in which to register his vehicle, this owner has been driving without number plates since 2021. Do you know you have committed an offense for not having identification number on your car for over a year. Yeah, they stopped me because I, I refused to fix my plate number. So then I explained to them that um, the where I'm supposed to uh, connect the plate number, the, the, the screw are, are rust. I'm aware about the, about the ban on um, spy plate numbers. 
um, also for citizens to have uh, plate numbers on their vehicle store as well. However, I'm not aware that you're supposed to have a police report if um, your plate number is actually missing. You the Inspector General of Police gave an order uh, instructing his men to enforce a total ban on vehicles that have the spine number plate on it. Now it's been dramatic as some of the drivers insist that they've not heard anything about the ban. And some pushed their luck by putting a call to certain people to stop the police from carrying out their duty.